for work, so I thought I'd film this just so that I, I have something to film. Drinking coffee. This is a must in the morning. So, um, how are you guys? Um, hope everything's okay. I've um, been doing a lot of mukbang lately just because I like doing those and I love to eat, so that's an obvious. So, um, let's see. I'm going to use this uh, Juice Beauty Moisturizer. Um, I like this moisturizer, but I think the fact that it has SPF, it's so thick, and I find it hard to absorb in my skin. So it almost feels like I'm putting a paste on there. I don't know how to describe it, but as you can see, you see how, how that looks. Kind of like toothpaste, like a white mask. I mean, I, I like it because it's good for you. Plus that brand, that juice, is, that juice Beauty is the one from one of Paltrow. And uh, it's natural, vegan I think. No chemicals. And because I'm so fair, I need um, something with SPF. And I haven't been able to find any any good uh, facial moisturizers with SPF that aren't so drying, that don't have all these horrible ingredients. Now, I'm not vegan or anything. I'm not, you know, organic, not even. But I do try to incorporate some products when I can. Just because it's the smart thing to do. So then what I do is I add <clears throat> this on top, which this is Pacifica. And this one is also vegan and cruelty free. This one doesn't have any SPF. This one's called uh, Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream. So you can see it there. And I really, really do enjoy this one. This one feels really, really light and almost quenching. Which that makes, makes the other one... Which the other one doesn't feel that as much as that, but I know the other one has the SPF, which I need. And my face has been so dry lately. Um, so I need this moisturizer before I put makeup on, just because then my foundation is going to look disgusting on there. So I need to comb my hair a bit. This will do for now. <sighs> Facial spray. It's like a moisturizer. I used to use a rose water one, so I'm trying this one out. But I can honestly say... I can honestly say that I still like the rose water one better. The rose water one better. is a little tiny sample of the poor professional I think it was given to me every little gift I think I don't know I haven't bought that big one I usually just use um, this elf one that I have because it's like cheap and it's like supposed to be like hydrating So what I'll do is I'll start, oh, that sets in. I'll start on my eyebrows. Because a girl ain't ready if she got no brows. My eyebrows are so light. As you can see. See that? So I just kind of fill them in. 
so that they look a little bit more put together. And the product they use is this little thing. It's like a wet and wild little brush kit. Not a brush kit. A uh, brow kit. And it has like the wax. And um, two colors. Like a darker one and a lighter one. I've been using the lighter one now. That my, Now that my hair is um, transitioning back into the light. Um, I had my hair black, dyed black for a while, probably for like a few months, and I really liked it, but now that summer's coming, I really want light hair again, and I think it looks good with my skin color, I think it flows well, it's just, I mean, I live by the ocean, so... Nothing better than having highlights. Well, not highlights, but you know, golden waves. And because I really don't highlight my hair, I usually just do a, a home kit dye, and I'll just do it myself because, damn, it's pricey. It's pricey to go dye your hair. Um, and um, I usually just like you know, do a dye at different tones and. That's up my hair eventually at some point looks a little bit like kind of like highlighted just because you know it's like a brown and then with some golden tones so I really like that look and um, that's what I usually have been doing for the last few years I don't think I haven't ha had my perfect my hair professionally colored in a while um, let's see. there we go not like crazy crazy but you know I'm trying to have some definition okay and then usually what I do afterwards is I set them with a clear gel this used to be clear looks kind of gross but just from the tints from other colors it kind of has doesn't look as clear anymore but it's just to set them so they don't move get all sweaty when you drink coffee? I do. I guess it's the caffeine or something. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, I don't think I'm going to do anything too heavy today because I don't have a lot of time. I have to get going soon. So I'm using this e.l.f. It's all gross. This e.l.f. color concealer, but it's like a yellow tint. I just use that uh, just to cover these bags because they're pretty, pretty bad. You know, when you have a little stash there. <laughs> it's normal, everybody has hair, so no biggie. You know, just kind of color correct because I do have a lot of red undertones. It just makes, I think, a big difference. When I put my foundation on top, it just kind of blends out the, the redness.
cancel or use uh, my Fit Me Maybelline uh, concealer. I use uh, 120. If you guys see my cat jump up here, he's in, in my restroom. Um, I don't know, he's gone now. This one, um, I found a foundation junkie. I love foundation. I love trying out new stuff. I'm just using this little Real Techniques um, sponge. I really do enjoy trying them out. I actually have a nicer, well not a nicer, but like a higher end one. The NARS one. But... When they sold that to me, the pump was broken. So, I really, it's such a mess to get out. I mean, not like this one doesn't have a pump either, but for some reason, this doesn't seem as messy to get out. I don't know. Anyways, I really do like it. I do, it's, I, I enjoy it. It's, it's, it's really nice. But, uh, honestly, I like this one better. It's like super cheaper. Um... So, I have that one, and then I also have this uh, Tarte one, the Amazonian clay one, but with that one, um, I have to mix it with a primer oil, which this is the one I use, this Smashbox primer oil, just because it's such a thick foundation, and I have really dry skin. It like tugs on my skin, so it doesn't feel good to try it on. I try it on, but to wear it like that alone. So I have to do that when I wear that one, which I don't mind. It's fine. It looks really, really good. Okay, I'm going to pause this real quick because I'm going to go get some more coffee. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, I had to get more coffee. Uh, it's like going back to life. Anyways, so yeah, um, I really do enjoy this foundation very much. I think it's a really good quality and it looks really, really good even after like a, f a, a few hours of wearing. Well, not a few, a lot of hours of wearing. So, I think it's a good color match for me. This one's the Dewy and Smooth Edition. I know they also have the Matte and Poreless, but I find that, like I said, my skin is dry, like you guys know already. The Matte and Poreless um, doesn't look as good as this one. So, anyways, that's the foundation. Let's close that up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do a little prime on my eyes. This is a NYX eyeshadow base, and this one's in white. I know they have a cream one, like a cream color, like a skin color. I just haven't bothered to look for it, and I want to finish that before I get anything else to go. I do have a quite a bit of makeup, but honestly, in my defense, I use it. I use everything. It's hardly anything that I don't use. I usually try to use my products um, like around. Like I'll use this, and then I'll switch this up and do that. So I'm just going to set my eyes with this eyeshadow. I'm not going to go into deep on the colors and all that. I'm just... Just trying to look myself together for work. Um, and all, all I did is just, you know, I'm using this like cream colored shadow and I'm just going to set that, that uh, eyeshadow base. And sometimes when I don't want to wear any color or anything or anything fancy, I just do that. And my eyes just look more awake. Uh, let's see. What am I going to do? As you guys know, I am a nurse. 
I do um, hospice care. But it's a home-based hospice. So I work pretty much out of my car. Because I go to home to home to home. Um, and I see between seven to eight patients in one day. So, um, and if you guys are not familiar with hospice, Hospice is a type of nursing where you care for patients that are terminally ill and they have a life expectancy of less than six months. So, with that said, it's a different part of nursing. You don't particularly do a lot of... Um, The typical nursing, you know, as far as the, how can I put it? You know, in the hospital you do a certain type of thing, you know, it's you, you're there to, for the cure. You focus on the caring, on the healing, and then the hospice part you do more, you, fo you focus on the healing, but not necessarily the curing part. You manage the symptoms of the end of life, which... People have a lot of symptoms when they're dying. So you kind of prepare the family for what's coming. It is a very... Um, wholesome job. It, require, it gives you it gives you a lot of... It's very rewarding in a way where you feel like you've done something that's going to help someone you know, for the rest of their lives. Not that the other parts of nursing don't do that, because they do that. I've done it. I've done other parts of nursing. And it's very rewarding as well. But it's just a little bit different. The connection that you experience is just on a whole different level. And you really do become part of those people's families, you know? At the end of, when, at the, end of the journey, people are very grateful. And it's just very, very fulfilling. It's something that you feel really, really nice about. Anyways, I've been doing that for about... A, over a year and a half, I think. Yes, a year and a half already? Almost a year and a half, I think. Um, and I really enjoy it. I'm going to use a Maybelline concealer. Before I did um, hospice, I did um, oncology, and I did that for seven years. I took care, pretty much what I did in oncology is I did um, chemotherapy, so I gave chemo to people for seven years. And it was also a very rewarding job, but I reached a point where sometimes, you know, you evaluate yourself and you feel like you stopped growing, and I felt that way. So I felt like I needed a change, so I ended up doing this hospice job, and I really, really like it. I mean, it's obviously there are better days than others, but most of the time I really enjoy being around people and helping them deal with this type of situation. So I did a little concealing there, and it helps brighten up the under eye. I'm gonna start setting my face with this illuminating mineral veil. I didn't buy this, somebody gave this to me. Um, I'm still not sure how this works actually. I just kind of put it on my face. I mean, it looks nice, but it just kind of looks a little glim, like not glimmery, but not shiny either, but I don't want to say glittery, but it's nice. It doesn't add any extra color to my face, but I just feel like it Kind of, do you guys see that? All that powder that must not be good for you. Um, just kind of mats my fade, mace, mats my fade out, oh, mats my face out just a little bit. I mean, not that I'm super oily right now, but anyways, so that's what I do, and then apparently, I do videos on my spare time. Um, 
I do enjoy busy YouTube world. I've been watching YouTube for a while now, and um, I, re I really enjoy it. I don't really watch TV anymore. This is an NYC, uh, like a bronzer, and it's actually what I put on my crease just to kind of deepen it a little bit. And I'm going to use this just to kind of bronze my face a little bit, just so that I don't look so pasty. Because after you put the foundation on, you kind of look a little bit too white. This just kind of gives me a little definition. So my face doesn't look so flat. Contra my little chubby nose, because I do have a big nose. Get it from my mama. Um, and uh, so I really enjoy YouTube. I've been watching it for a few years now. And uh, I really enjoy it more than TV. Like I said, I hardly ever watch TV. Um, let's see. Blush. My favorite blush is this, this Benefit Dallas. And it comes with a little tiny brush, which I really enjoy. I like it because it fits with every, everything. Like, it's a really nice little pop of color. It's kind of like a mauve color. I'm just to kind of use this just so that it doesn't look all harsh. And even if you add too much, you can also use your blender just kind of to blend it out. Okay, so. Do a little highlighting. My favorite highlighter so, uh, lately has been this Essence Pure Nude. And it's like super cheap. This one's be my highlight, but... From all the hippie D channels that I watch, um, this one was recommended by our favorite YouTuber, Kathleen Light. She talks about this, and and I can understand why she likes it because it's a really pretty, just little highlight, nothing fancy, but pretty. So then I will. Wear my eyelashes and then we'll be done because it's been a very long video. Sorry, I'm covering my face, but <sighs> favorite mascara so far is this one. It's also a Maybelline, it's a lash sensation. The only thing I don't like I guess because I get it all over my upper lid but maybe that's just me because I'm not careful people make the weirdest faces when they add um, mascara don't you think it's like anyways just to give me a little lift and what I like is that it, this actually holds my curl and a lot of, a lot of other mascaras don't so This one actually does, and it's cheap. I will usually splurge every here and there with on a luxury product, but not too often. guys I'm done um, I'm this way um, this is it like I said nothing too fancy I'm just gonna fix my hair I'm gonna wear it up because I can't have it in my face because when I work I just I like, can't so this is the end look something simple just to kind of look presentable when I get out there because I don't want to scare people so anyways we'll talk later see you later bye happy Friday